So today's romantic painting is called Lamplight Love. Now this is an acrylic painting and I'm going to show you over the course of this video how to just layer and create this painting step by step. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is um, use a piece of charcoal and just a little bit below the centre mark, I'm going to line um, mark a small horizon. Now I've already pre-primed this canvas with grey gesso and that's just to get rid of the white of the canvas. Now you'll notice I've brush mixed this and keep it quite loose. I'm going to begin just using my wrist in a really twisty fashion. The paint's quite thick and I'm looking to create a really random sort of moody cloudy sky. So I really want you to sort of have fun with this and really loosen up. You'll see I'm just picking bits of everything up now. A bit of burnt sienna in there. And I'm twisting and turning. So for this first layer, I'm more than happy with that. Now, again, this is acrylic, so we're able to dry this off. I'm going to dry this off with a hairdryer, and then we're going to do just a little bit more on the sky, just to sort of fine tune it a little bit. Now I'm taking a lot of the paint off the brush and using a bit of a dry brush mix. And this time, just very softly, I'm emphasizing and scumbling. It's a really light touch because it enables you then to blend dry brush glazing. Okay, the sky's nice and dry now, so I'm going to go back to my charcoal and I'm going to sketch myself a little bit of a guide. So I'm going to go into the ultramarine blue and the burnt umber and I'm going to get a grey. I'm just going to test that colour. Now you can see just by testing, on the palette it looks quite dark, but when I put that up there, it's not going to be dark enough. I need something a little bit darker. So I'm going to make up a cityscape and I'm going to use the flat of the brush just to give me some nice interesting shapes. So just by using the stroke of the brush you can give the illusion of all these buildings in this city. So what I'm going to do now to make this a little bit more detailed but not too detailed because it is in the distance, um, I'm just going to add a little bit of highlight. So now this is just the first bit to suggest a bit of a glow little dot right in the centre will just give the illusion that there's some lights. So this is going to be the water and this is going to be the path area. So you're just scrubbing this colour in to cover the canvas. I want it nice and dark. You want to make sure that the canvas is nice and covered. So for the blocking in stages that looks pretty good. I'm just going to create a little bit of suggestion of some ripples, things in the water. So I'm going to begin sketching the placement of my railings. And the nice thing about this is if I don't like it, I can keep wiping it off until I've got something that I'm happy with. Now I want this nice and dark, so I'm going into some purple and some black. I want this really, really dark. Okay, I'm now going to begin sketching in the placement of the lamps and I'm just going to give myself a bit of a guide. So I'm pretty happy with that as a basic sketch. But again, if you didn't like anything, you could just keep wiping that off until you've got something you're happy with. So I'm going to block all the lamps in exactly the same and we're also going to block in the trees exactly the same way. So I'm going to come along and just slowly start highlighting the front part of these trees. And this is just a little bit of extra detail. And then we'll do the same with the trees on the other side. So we're ready to start adding a little bit of snow details now. And there's a little less detail as I go further back. And the further away I go, the less detail I'm doing. I'm just scumbling that across, just to suggest some snow. But it's really starting to come together now as you're building on these different layers. Now we've got a lovely image here of this uh, our romantic couple. And you can decide where you're going to place this. 
I simply will just trace over the lines and then the image, the charcoal image, will be positioned onto the canvas. Now initially I'm just blocking in, we will be putting some highlights and some shadows on this coat. But initially it's just getting those colours blocked in. The light would be bouncing off his jacket. So getting that little bit of orange on there really gives that effect. Now I've not got a lot on my brush and I'm just scumbling that over the top. And you're just tapping that on to give that illusion of snow and that texture of snow. Well I really do hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Um, acrylics do have a bad reputation and can be a little bit difficult to manage because of the uh, drying times. But if you do them in layers, you take your time with them, I think you'll see from this video they're not quite as bad as they may have a reputation for.